Hey guys, Kuzumar here, back with another sketchbook practice page, and uh, just back in general. <laughs> it's been a bit, it's good to be back, hopefully everyone is doing good as well. And uh, yeah, it's been a second, it's going to be fun, it's going to be fun. So how am I going to do this? I'm draw trying to draw them in somewhat of uh like a uh, jumping pose I would say hopefully this isn't too bright up here let me move that down hopefully it wasn't too bright try to do it in a jumping pose esque and Get in the chest area. <laughs> That's what I'll call it. I'll just, I'll just call it the chest area. I think they should go a little further down, actually. In any case, hopefully all you guys are doing well. Um, and hopefully you guys are excited for this video coming out. I do have more videos coming. Don't worry. Um, we are going to get back on it. For sure. And I'm super excited. But I can't remember if I'd actually think. No, I haven't talked about this since the last time I uploaded. Um I got new glasses, or I got glasses that that work. So I can actually see what I'm doing here. Uh unlike before. It's not gonna make my art like better or anything. It just is easier on my brain. Um, oh, this feels really good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I'm, that I'm back with you guys. Uh, you know, that's, I don't like the look of that, but that pose, should I put her arm going down this way? Maybe kind of try to work it out real time with you guys or I could like put it even further up which looks a bit strange I mean it works I think I like the other one more if we go downwards and that's cool like this is the whole point of these things um shouldn't be afraid of experimenting with stuff and the reason why I actually changed that arm because it just didn't, it, it felt a little stiff. You know, I also don't like that either. Um, I think I might go, let's test out, have it go down and back a little bit like this and have the hand do this, thumb here, finger. Yeah, eh, it's all right. I, I feel like it could be better, but let's go with it. Oh yeah, new glasses. Super fun with that. And also, I already told you guys that I got a new phone. I think this is one of my first videos, uh, real-time videos. I might have done another one, but um, I think this is the first real-time video with this new phone, which hopefully the camera quality is good. I might have done another one. I don't know. I, let me know if I mentioned that before. Also, guys, uh, there's a lot of new people here, and uh, welcome to the channel, and I'm glad to have you here. If you're new, shout out in the comment section. Let me know if you're new since the last video that I uploaded. We're four minutes in now. So, I thought I might mention, now that we're just about four minutes in, I'll mention a little bit on, it. basically, all I'm going to say is, I want this to be around drawing, uh, not, not necessarily about me. Wait, how are we going to do this hand? I want to start talking and actually working through um, what I'm actually doing and why I'm doing it a little bit in these. The head feels a little big. 
Um, anyways, one of the reasons why I was gone is not actually the only reason why I was gone is basically just um, some health issues. For those of you who follow me on Instagram, um, you already know this. I posted it in my stories. Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit more. If you haven't, if you don't follow me on Instagram, uh, definitely go do that. That's where I'm most active, other than on here. So um, I also give like updates and stuff on there as well. Um, but yeah, it's just been some health issues, and uh, it's all right though. So don't worry, guys. We are getting back at it. I feel like I'm being indecisive with some of these lines, and that's why I keep on going over them over and over again. Because it's already five minutes in, and I only got one person, so I should start being a little bit more decisive here in these things. There we go. Put in some collarbones. Do that. in the nose and you know I, I don't know maybe I'll just put it in like a quick little ponytail thing you know might as well just put in a little bit of some hair I am really happy you guys like these real-time videos oh I went off center sorry about that hopefully it wasn't too bad there Still getting back in the groove, if you know what I'm saying. It's paying attention to everything at once. Bam. Also, fun little fact. Actually, it's not a fun fact, but uh, a little fact about me. I'll tell you in just a second, because we're going to try to figure out what we're going to do for the next pose. <laughs> I think I'll do something close up and kind of fun uh, I say fun because it's gonna be something that looks more like uh, mm, uh, just to elaborate a little bit on what I just changed there so this is the head this is the neck and here let me actually just kind of put the head in here there we go um the reason why i changed that was because with the elbow being up the way it is so the person is kind of holding their hand close to their face almost like they're going to whisper to you and the reason why i changed that is because if i pull that elbow up too high it looks aggressive and not natural so it looks it didn't look natural basically so I changed that the other one looks like he's about to karate chop you basically <laughs> these are little things you pick up when just learning how to draw action stuff and just in general um, uh, very natural poses and what feels natural and what doesn't Because when you're moving your elbow anywhere above, I feel like your shoulders, that's kind of, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's an aggressive, uh, the, the one I just did felt aggressive because it looked like a karate chop, but it's not always aggressive, but it's not as natural unless you're stretching and stretching isn't a very natural standing pose per se. Um, it is a stretch in fact, so it's not as natural. <laughs> Mm -mm. Anyways, wow, we're almost done with this pose. Maybe I should do something with this. Yeah, maybe I should, um, just to go along with the whispering type of thing. I even might pull this forward a little bit like this. Um, anyways, to tell you the little not fun fact that's a fact, uh, what many of you do actually don't know is I actually have corporal tunnel as well um that's not the health issue that kept me away but it is a thing and uh 
I haven't actually, I don't know if I actually ever shared that with you guys, but it's actually a thing where you, I do advocate for like working really hard. I do. Oh, you guys might not have seen that bottom part down there. Sorry about that. Um, I do advocate for working very hard, but be careful. Don't, if I say push yourself to your limits, but don't push yourself to the point of pain, basically. So, um, there is a fine line between pain and growth, and, uh, you do have to find that line. So, but that's why you always gotta keep pushing on, though. Gotta keep pushing on. Hmm. So, something has been bugging me about this part. So, let's figure it out. Uh, I think it's the fact that the shoulder is pulled in too much. But now this part of the arm looks too long, right? So, I can still pull the shoulder out and keep it there while pulling in there. That looks a lot better. It doesn't look as weird as it did to me, at least. Um, yeah, that works. Sweet. And uh, maybe let's go in, here, go in here and do... Uh, I guess let's put in the fingers. I wasn't going to put in the fingers, but... Might as well at this point. And then let's just put a thumb over there. There. And then sharpen the chin a little bit. Listen, do that. Hmm. Now maybe I'll make this eye closed and this one look a little bit. A little bit menacing. There we go. And also, for those of you guys wondering about my corporal tunnel, because a lot of people, when they hear that, they think, oh, wow, you shouldn't be able to draw at all. Uh, it depends on how bad it gets. And there are certain things a person can eat that, or their diet, the way they diet, um, that actually can help it not be as bad. So I've been doing the things that make it not be as bad. So something that I just want to mention. But I know, I know a lot of you say you guys draw along with me in these videos. So for those of you drawing along with me, happy drawing. <laughs> for those of you who aren't, uh, happy, happy watching. Um, <laughs> maybe we could just... We're at 13 minutes, so we're definitely going to do another one here. I think we're also going to go a little bit smaller with this one too. We're going to go down here and well it's going to be a close up um, but we're going to do something like this. By the way that's the nose line. Um, I, For some reason I really like doing this angle. <laughs> I know I'm going to get people commenting about that sound. <laughs> I just made, I'm just making that sound because he's sticking his tongue out. Don't judge me, I, I know all you guys drawing. I know er, almost every single one of you, when you've drawn an expression, you guys have started making the same expression that you're drawing. Don't, e don't even lie to me, alright? I know you guys are. It's a thing. <laughs> I got a few subject-based videos that, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of what, what do I want to do, um, let's, uh, actually make it crazed. Yeah, let's do that. I do have more subject-based based videos going, I actually have a full page drawn out already of some 
stuff that I'm going to be using for the subject based videos. So I just have to muster up the courage to do the subject based video. I actually tried to work on a subject based video uh, not too long ago, but I really didn't like the way it came out. So I decided not to do that one. Um. Let's make it, okay, so what I want to try to do to make this look a little bit more There we go. So I just pulled it up like that to try to make it a little bit more creeper, creepy, weird like. <laughs> Let's draw like some saliva on his tongue. <laughs> maybe it's, <laughs> I don't know, maybe he's hungry or something. Gonna eat some people. He's a ghoul. A ghoul. Actually, in fact, let's just make his eye whites black yes yes let's do it and then create like a little sheen alright well let's do that and let's get this side going. Make sure I'm still centered enough. Also, I finally got my 100,000 subscriber YouTube button, like only 50,000 subscribers later, which by the way, 150,000, you guys are crazy, man. Thank you. All you guys coming up in here, you guys are awesome. Oh, whoa, sorry. Drawing some crazy hair flowing up here for no reason. Because that's what we do. Because we anime. Animu. <laughs> Alright, we're actually getting close to the end here. Which I do here. That's going to be the shoulder. Maybe I should have the arm out, out doing something. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to have the arm going that way. Well, maybe I can actually do this to, co to go. I'm actually going to bring his shoulder out even further. Like this. And then he's actually going to be reaching out. Like that. To kind of cover the bottom part. Hmm, I could even go up. In a slight angle if I wanted to it would help the composition yeah might as well let's go up at, at, a, sli at a slight angle not like I'm trying to make a composition here but uh, I mean if you can might as well you know what I'm saying <laughs> the arm looks weird and I have to say the saying I always say in these real time videos, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, Let's, uh, let's go over here and um, I'm thinking about doing a position like maybe make the head a little bit smaller. And then 
maybe, you know, I could have just made it a Spider-Man pose, but instead I decided to make it like a, it's kind of like a jumping action pose, but it's not, it's like, so basically I'm trying to make it look like they're having energy going up like this. Kind of like a, you know, Dragon Ball Z wave or whatever. But not quite. It's like they're going, their momentum is downward. And they're just kind of gathering the energy in their hands. And I want the legs to be like Spider-Man-esque kind of going out. But his are typically like and maybe I could have this one. Well, now it looks like they're on the ground. That's that wasn't my plan. <laughs> if I put the knee down there, um, let's go with them being up. It's still a little. Hmm, let's pull this one down a little bit more here. Yeah, that looks all right. That looks all right. And foot. Push it. Another leg, Bajaya. Bajaya. Actually, maybe I should have them looking down since their momentum is down, right? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Um, for hair, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, let's just go like straight up, uh, spiky. Because they're falling down like this, so it will really fit. Get some like speed lines going in there. And I'm gonna be like. Don't make fun of my sound effects, all right, guys? I hear you already clacking on your keyboards, even though I haven't even uploaded this yet. I can still hear it. Mm, let's call that one good. But in any case, if you guys like my artses, you guys can go check me out on my Patreon if you want to support me any further. Um... And also, man, I haven't done this in a while, you can tell. <laughs> but yeah, it also has like other tutorial stuff and anatomy sheets and stuff like that. For those of you who are interested, no pressure. It's all right. But yeah, huge thanks to my Patreons. You guys are awesome. And a special thanks to my tuning and Joning tier Patreons, which I need to make a new list to put up. But in any case, if you guys like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when each video comes out. And like always guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.